The Bulgarian Orthodox Church holds a lavish service in Sofia's landmark Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. It's been one year since Patriarch Neophyte was installed as head of the Bulgarian Orthodox Church. And yet, shortly before his appointment, newly released files had exposed him and ten other Orthodox Church heads as informants for Bulgarian state security under the communist regime. A few kilometers away, Orthodox priests perform a service at the memorial to the victims of communism. They have renounced their church's leadership out of protest. The high clergy, for their part, stays away from the memorial. The priest Dmitur Ambarev paid for his anti-communist convictions with five years in Bulgarian prisons. To this day, he doesn't know who spied on him. They starve the people there, or just kill them off in sadistic ways. They were all my brothers in the struggle against the communist dictatorship. But this memorial wasn't put up until 2012. And even then there were politicians who ridiculed it. Even the church wanted nothing to do with the memorial. And to this day, the services we hold in the chapel here are not officially recognized. The archives of the Committee on Disclosure of the State Security Documents encompass 14 kilometers of documents. Somewhere among them are the files on leading church figures, but the church has refused to cooperate and even tried to obstruct the Commission's work. The church also refuses interviews. The archives director is not surprised. In the meantime, we found dossiers on three more Orthodox bishops, but our hands are tied. All we can do is inform the Bulgarian people. By law, we can't charge anyone. The bishops are free to react to their exposure as their conscience dictates, but so far no one has shown any remorse. Cooperation between the Bulgarian church and the communist regime had a long tradition. Exhibits at Sofia's Museum for Totalitarian Art hint at how cosily the high clergy was in bed with the top political brass, even after church property had been nationalized and many Christian holidays had been all but prohibited. The authorities tolerated only a few orthodox rites. The communist authorities made systematic use of the church. The secret service's collaborators in the church did great harm to this society. Some bishops failed to stand behind their priests or defend them. On the contrary, often they informed the state security where church weddings or funerals were taking place. They even went so far as to hand over the church registers to them. After the end of communism, some clergy got cozy with the oligarchs who called the shots in Bulgaria's new market economy. The bishop of the city of Varna, another former collaborator, was accused of having been involved in several illicit activities. The holy man was known for his taste in expensive limousines. In 2013, he was found dead on a Black Sea beach. A priest in the Varna diocese who had criticized his superior's behavior for years was expelled from the church. Now, Leo Bymir Popov holds services in a makeshift house of worship. Many churchgoers support his call for a new beginning. These bishops have lost their faith. The lists of collaborators prove the entire leadership of the Orthodox Church was in the pocket of the secret police. Their arrogance proves that they're not willing to change that they'll stay the way they've always been, cogs in a corrupt political system. In Sofia, Father Dmitur Ambarev agrees. 
the memories of a life under the scrutiny of church informers are very much alive. Sometimes they overwhelm him and his wife. The day he was born in 1945, his father was arrested. He only got to know his father 14 years later, only to be condemned himself by the communists when his father died in 1972. We were tortured with cigarette butts and beaten with sandbags. But worst of all was that I wasn't allowed to attend my father's funeral. Yet the church's collaborators were doing very well and they've gone unpunished to this day. I don't want to pass judgment on them. I'm sure God will do that. Twenty-five years after the end of communist rule, the former Secret Service collaborators are still working in state institutions, as provided by law in Bulgaria a secular law that seems to have the backing of the Orthodox Church. <laughs>